You have probably seen a candlestick cheat sheet just like this. But have you ever seen one like this? Most videos on YouTube talks about candlestick patterns, but no one really teaches you how to understand these candlestick patterns. And if you can fully understand candlestick patterns, you will be able to read and analyze the market 10 times easier. If you do not do this, you are just blindly copying candlestick patterns and you will not become profitable. So what we want to do is to truly understand what the candlesticks are telling us. So you can see in this example, right here we have the hanging man candlestick. So how this candlestick or rather what this candlestick tell us is that the market opened right here, price opened right here and at some point of time price got pushed all the way down here by the sellers right because this is the lowest point price went to and then eventually price got pushed all the way up here and eventually the candlestick closed at this level right here. So this actually tells us that at some point of time, price got pushed all the way down here by the sellers. So there was a lot of selling pressure pushing price down. But then eventually some buyers start to come in to push the market up and it end up just closing right here above where it opened. The next candlestick we are going to look at is the morning star candlestick pattern which is basically a reversal candlestick pattern that tell us that price is going to reverse and head back up. Now, what the psychology behind this candlestick is that it gave you one red candlestick followed by a little small little green candlestick or it can be red candlestick which is a little doji or small body candlestick and then followed by a big green candlestick right here. So what does this candlestick pattern tell us? This candlestick pattern tell us that there were sellers inside the market pushing the price down. Therefore, there was this red candlestick right here. But then as price reaches like a key level or some sort of area of confluence, the sellers start getting lesser and lesser and the buyers start to come in to try to push the market up, which explains this candlestick right here. It's like more of like a neutral candlestick pattern, like a small body candlestick or rather a doji candlestick pattern that tell us that, you know what, we have no idea whether it's going to go down even further or go up. The next candlestick is a green candlestick which tells us that, you know what, the buyers has overtaken the sellers inside this market and price is going to go up now. So therefore, this is why like when you see this morning star candlestick pattern, price actually reverse and hit up because there is a shift in momentum from the sellers to the buyers. At first, there was more sellers pushing the price down, but now there are more buyers pushing the price up. So the next candlestick pattern I want to share with you is actually one of my favorite candlestick patterns to use when it comes to trading. And it's actually the three line strike candlestick pattern. So look at this candlestick pattern right here. It gives you one grid candle, two red candle and a three red candle. So there was selling pressure, selling momentum, pushing the price down. But then look at what the next candle does. The next candle, it gave us a huge ass green bullish engulfing candlestick, which you can see it literally engulfed the previous three candlestick right here. All of these little three candlesticks got annihilated by this huge green candle. So the psychology behind this is that once again, there were sellers trying to push the market down, right? Push the price all the way down. But then at some point of time, the selling pressure start to go away. The sellers start to go away, right? Start to go and watch Netflix like a little. Eventually, the buyers start to come in and push the price up, right? Push the price up. And this tells us that there's a lot of buying pressure. And once again, the buyers has overtaken the sellers. So right now, after you see this candlestick pattern, most likely it's going to go up, all right? Price is going to go up now. And the opposite of this bullish three line strike is the bearish three line strike, right? Which is basically for three green candlestick, one, two, three, three small little green candlestick followed by one huge ass red candlestick literally engulfing the previous three candlestick which basically once again tells us there's a lot of selling pressure and a lot of sellers momentum pushing the price down so after you see this pattern most likely the next uh, candlestick is going to be a red candlestick and price is going to go down now so let me share with you the first secret when it comes to trading candlesticks so basically you want to make sure that you trade with the trend, right? And remember, your candlesticks should be your last confirmation. It acts as an additional confirmation. Never ever should you just trade based on you see like this candlestick pattern on the chart and then you just take the trade. No, you must look for other confirmation too. And you must make sure that it aligns with the trend. So what do I mean by that? So in this case, there was a very beautiful downtrend right here, right? Beautiful downtrend, price going down. And at some point of time, price starts losing momentum. You can see the candlesticks are getting smaller and smaller and smaller and tell us that there's a loss of momentum, right? So right here, what do we have here? This is actually your three line strike candlestick patterns that we just went through, right? One, two, three. 
three small red candlestick in a row followed by a huge green candlestick so the moment this candlestick present itself you can enter for a buy somewhere right around here right because you know that right now the momentum has shift from the sellers to the buyers and right now price is going to go up because there's a lot of buyers inside the market pushing the price up so and the reason why I say that you must trade with the trend is because you must make sure that the candlestick pattern that you are using is aligned with the trend. So a bad example could be this one right here. Look at this candlestick pattern right here. What is this? This is your morning star candlestick pattern. And normally when we see a morning star candlestick pattern, we want to see it in a downtrend because this tells us that price is going to reverse and it's going to become an uptrend right now. But in this scenario, price is not in a downtrend. Instead, it is going sideways and just consolidating around this area here. So this morning star candlestick pattern is not as effective as if it was in a downtrend. So make sure you identify the trend first and then look out for the candlestick pattern and try to trade with the trend. So the second secret is to look for strong and clear patterns. So in this example right here on the chart, I have two candlestick patterns for you. Candlestick A is a three line strike candlestick pattern. One, two, three, small red candlestick followed by a huge green candlestick. And then candlestick B right here is basically three red candlestick once again followed by a green candlestick. But this time it's a small green candlestick. And both of these are kind of examples of three line strike. So which one do you think will be more effective? Candlestick A, candlestick pattern A or candlestick pattern B? Comment the answer down below. And if you answered candlestick A, you are correct. Because if you look at these two candlesticks, there is a little bit of difference. Let's look at candlestick A first. Candlestick A is basically one small red candlestick followed by another small red candlestick followed by another small red candlestick. And then lastly, it gave us a huge bullish green engulfing candlestick which tells us that there's a lot of buying pressure. And once again, the buyers has taken over the market. While if you look at candlestick B, candlestick B, it gave us a big red candlestick followed by a small red candlestick, small red candlestick. And lastly, it actually gave us a small green candlestick, right? It's a small green candlestick and it did not even engulf the previous three candlesticks right here. You can see it just engulfed the previous candlestick. While on the candlestick A, this green candlestick literally engulfed all the previous red candlestick. So therefore, candlestick A is obviously the more superior alpha male strong and clear candlestick pattern. Therefore, this is what I mean by you have to look out for strong and clear candlestick patterns. If the candlestick pattern is not clear just like this, do not take that trade. As simple as that. It has to be strong, it has to be obvious for you to identify and it has to be clear enough for you to trade it. So when it comes to trade, Trading, you must be patient enough to wait for price to pull back because remember price will always pull back right so this is exactly what i mean so let's say right now price is going up on gpusd right you can see price is making a beautiful uptrend and it's heading towards this little resistance area that we have drawn right here because if you look towards the left whenever price get up here reverses price get up here again once again reverses so this is a very strong resistance area that you should look out for right so when price gets up here there's a chance that price is not gonna break it right and it's gonna reverse and head back down so in this case we are looking to sell but as soon as price come back up here touches this area and reverses a little bit should you enter for a sell the answer is no because you want to wait for price to pull back up to this area somewhere right around here and then that is when you can enter for the trade because most of the time price is not going to just reverse immediately on the first bounce right it's gonna uh touches that area come back down and then it's gonna go up there to re retest that area once again and try to like break past it and if it's failed to break past it multiple times that is when you know that price is gonna go to shades so in this case what we're going to do is to be patient and wait to see what price did and you can see price once again went up there and actually broke past the resistance area right you can see price actually broke past the resistance area and the next thing you know is actually a huge fake out right this is a huge fake out this is what we call fake out basically price broke its head out of the resistance or support area just a little bit and then just went back down so if you enter for a sell like somewhere right around here, you will have placed your stop loss above this resistance area. And in this case, you will have gotten stopped out and lose a whole lot of money. So in this scenario, like I said, what we want to do is to be patient enough to wait for price to pull back, right? Wait for further confirmation. So you can see in this case, <coughs> I still wait. You can see right here, somewhere right around here, this is when 
why we have entered for the trade. Let me just go back a little bit more. So you can see in this case, this has tell us that price is being faked out, right? So what I'll do is that I'll go to the smaller time frame even a smaller time frame like this and then you can see right now price is pulling back up to this resistance area to retest it to become a lower high so in this case i'll wait you can see right here right here somewhere right around here somewhere right around here price actually gave us a lower high so this high right here is lower than this previous high right here so what does this tell us this tell us that right now this uptrend right here when price is creating your higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows and has now potentially reversed to become a downtrend because look at this price starts consolidating losing momentum and then right now it just formed a lower high right here this high lower than this previous high so this tell us that this is the first sign rather that tell us that price is going to reverse and price is going to go down right now so in this scenario what we want to do is to enter for a sell so i will have entered for a sell somewhere right around here because i see this beautiful bearish engulfing candlestick and this is actually the evening star candlestick pattern right so i place my stop loss above this last lower high right somewhere right around here and i'll place my take profit at the next key level could be down here right so you can see right now price actually went down there and smashed our take profit making this a very very beautiful trade right this is why you guys must wait for pullbacks because remember remember because remember price will always always pull back and you have to be patient enough to wait for price to pull back and then take the trade you never ever want to trade when price reverses immediately at the key resistance level wait for price to come back up to retest that area a few more times create your new lower high create your market structure break of structure then that is when you can enter when you see your favorite candlestick pattern on the charts now the next secret is something that i've always mentioned in most of my videos so it's not much of a secret right it is basically to stay out when the market is going sideways when it comes to trading candlestick patterns there will be times when there is false candlestick patterns which means that you see like a candlestick pattern that you know that price is going to go up but then instead of going up price actually went down and when price is going sideways there's a lot a shit ton of false candlestick patterns let me show you what i mean so you can see in this case price is going sideways not going anywhere it has no future not going anywhere right so what you want to do is to draw like maybe like resistance level right here and also support level right here so you can see in this case right let's say you enter for a buy at this support level right and then you take profit at this key resistance area right here so you can see price starts going up going up going up and it goes like somewhere near the resistance area not even at that resistance area you just go near around it and it just reverses and head back down this is exactly why i hate trading sideways cons or rather consolidation market because there is no guarantee that if you enter for a buy at this support level it is going to go up straight to the resistance area right here you can literally go down to i mean go up to an area around it and then it starts reversing and head back down is very unpredictable so basically when price is consolidating there will be not much opportunities and i want to stay out of the market because i want to be patient enough to wait for price to give me opportunities then i will take that trade but if there's no opportunities at all just like this do not trade because remember candlestick patterns they work the best when price is trending or at key levels so what are the best time frames to use these candlestick patterns i literally only have two points for this number one use higher time frames to look for reversals number two use lower time frames to look for your entries right so in this scenario what we can see right here is that price has been in a beautiful downtrend right here but look at what price is doing look at what the candlesticks are telling us you can see big red candlestick right here but then the candlesticks start getting smaller and smaller as price approaches this support level and this tells us that the sellers are losing momentum the sellers are kind of going away and the buyers might come over and take over the market right so over here what we are expecting is a reversal and look at what this candlestick pattern is once again this is one of our favorite candlestick patterns which is called the three 
line strike candlestick patterns. So the moment I saw this, I know that price is gonna reverse, right? I know that price is gonna reverse up. And that's only the first sign. The second sign is that whenever price come back down here, reverses, come back down, reverses, come back down, reverses. So it literally reverses multiple times at this area, telling us this is a very strong support area, which is the second sign. And now what I want to do is to go down to my smaller time frames, like the one hour or even a 15 minute time frame to look for my entries, right? The reason why we enter on the smaller time frames like the one hour or even the 15 minute time frame is so that we can get better entry. We can get a nice entry with a tighter stop loss. So I go down to the one hour time frame and I will have entered for the trade somewhere right around here. Right when I see this huge green candlestick right here, literally engulfing the all this like small little red candlestick. I'll place my stop loss below this support area, place my take profit at the next key resistance area, which could be all the way up here, right? There's a little resistance area right here. And you can see this, look at how this trade play out. Boom, boom, boom. And ultimately, it's going to go up and smash our take profit right there, baby. Very, very simple, right? This is very, very simple. The whole concept is that you do not want to use one time frame. There is no one best time frame. It all ties in together. So what you want to do is to combine the power of the higher time frames and the smaller, lower time frames. Bam! And there you have a successful trade. Now that you guys have learned the five candlestick secrets, now it is time for you to apply them or rather for me to apply them. So in this scenario, I'm going to show you one live trade, like live trade that will allow you to kind of understand my thought process when it comes to trading the candlestick patterns, right? So you can see in this case, price is going up, right? It's going up making a beautiful, beautiful uptrend. How do we know it's going up? Because price is creating your higher highs and higher lows. So you can see, I have drawn like a little resistance area around here because somewhere around this area, there is a resistance area, all right? And then you can see price starts going up to this little resistance area. And you can see price starts consolidating at this key resistance area like this, right? Just consolidating, going sideways, not going anywhere. And let's look at what happens next. You can see price just reverse at this resistance area right here. So at this point of time, remember what I said, you don't want to enter when price just reverse straight, right? You want to wait for price to pull back and retest this area first and then reject it and then go back down. Then that is when you want to enter for the trade. So at this point of time, I would not have entered for the trade. I'll still be patient and see and look at what, uh, what happens next. So you can see right here, price and like starts consolidating. And remember when price consolidate, what do we do? We stay out of the market. Very, very simple, we just stay out of the market. And you can see right here, price has literally went back up to retest that little resistance area that we have drawn. So in this example, I'm gonna be looking for my entry, right? But we do not want to wait. I mean, we don't want to trade yet. We want to wait for further confirmation. So you can see in this case, price has broken the resistance area and he has actually given us a fake out right here, right? So. There's a fake out right here. This tells us that, you know what, price is gonna collapse right now, right? The whole reason of this fake out is to stop out all the retail traders who entered right here and place their stop loss over here, right? You have gotten stop out if you do this stupid mistake. So in this case, what I'll do is that I look at what price is doing at this key level right here. Look at what the candlesticks are showing us. And if you look at this resistance area, look at this candlestick, what is this? This is once again your three line strike candlestick patterns. It's basically one small green candle, another small green candle, and a third green candle followed by a huge red candlestick which literally engulf all the previous green candlesticks. It's so much bigger than all the previous three candlesticks combined. Now, this is a very strong and clear pattern, right? It is not like those weak, shitty candlestick pattern. It's a very strong and clear pattern. So that kind of takes the second criteria. And now what I would like to do is to go down to the smaller time frame to look for my entries. And remember, right now we are on the four hour time frame and we see that price is giving us a sign of reversal, right? We see this three line strike, which tells us that price might be reversing and heading back down. So in this case, go down to the smaller time frame, like maybe the one hour, even the 15 minute time frame. So this is where I'll be looking for my entries, right? So I will have entered for a sell somewhere right around here, place my stop loss above this little resistance area or even above the last high right here. And then place my take profit all the way down at the next support level, which could be all the way, all the way down here, right? There's a little support area right here. 
So this is where I'll place my take profit. Very, very beautiful take profit. So this is about uh, 1 is to 2 risk to reward ratio. And if you are a complete beginner, what you should do is to keep things simple and try to have like a solid at least 1 is to 2 risk to reward ratio. So let's look at how this trade plays out over time. And you can see as price goes in my way, right? What I will do is to move my stop loss, right? I'll move it even tighter somewhere right around here above this resistance area. So I move it. And then you can see as price gets to somewhere right around this area here, right? What I will do is that I'll move my stop loss into break even, right? I'll move my stick my stop loss into break even, or I will have even moved my stop loss to this area right here. Because you can see this is a lower high being formed, right? This is the lower high right here. So I will have even moved my stop loss to somewhere right around here. So that even if I get stopped out, I will still be in some sort of profit somewhere right around here. So right now, price has already went down and smashed or take profit and my camera literally died halfway. So right here, price smashed or take profit and we have closed this beautiful trade. Like this video if this video has helped you gain a better understanding of candlestick patterns and smash on that subscribe button because we are posting useful trading videos just like this one every single week without fail. Check out this video for a complete guide to trading candlestick patterns. Right here, click this video to find out more. And remember, you're just one trade away. Mwah.